Okay, hello everybody. I'm in a creative world, and oh, I'm I'm Reptiron, of course. How you doing? Um, and what I have here is a basic shape, which is good for cattle farming or sheep farming or just about any type of animal that you could think of. It's a good enclosure. But what you need to start off with is harvesting wheat or carrots or whatever you intend to feed your, your animals. Um, so get yourself whatever you need there. Now, um, the enclosure could be any size you want, smaller or bigger, but I like to go with something about 20 by 20 or 10 by 10. In any event, you just dig out a shape like this. You dig down three blocks and then you dig a, a like a lip that's one block wide around the edge here. Now the second thing you need to do is chop down a bunch of trees and get yourself a bunch of wood because you're going to need it. Um, if you make it bigger, you're going to need more wood, but I like to put crafting tables in the corners. Now this design has been spread all over the internet. I'm not doing anything new. What I'm doing is providing you a visual with how to go about doing it. Um, this right here, um, once you've placed down your crafting tables, then uh, you can get rid of this block and provide yourself with another way out by placing down a trapdoor. Now you want to pl place the trapdoor on the first block up like that, close it, and then you can hop up on the ledge, hop up here, and hop out on the crafting table. This doesn't have to be a crafting table. It could be dirt, it could be whatever but I like using a crafting table because it's useful out here as a crafting table. Anyway, then you just simply place, place your fences all along here. And then this design is complete. And one of the cool things about this design that I like is that you can lure your animals into this pit and they can't get out and they simply walk over and they're trapped so um, as you do this uh, you could possibly get a few animals getting in and that would be a bonus or you could decide to make this around a few animals. Um, either way, it's good for the starter world before you've actually uh, got the technology to make a proper farm or one of the micro farms. Uh, you could even push these guys in. It's pretty simple. Boom. I've got a sheep. Yay. Um, so that's as simple as it gets right there. Now, um, the upgrades you could do to this farm. Uh, leaves. Leaves are glass. Um, I would put leaves all around here. It's a transparent block. And cows or cattle tend to glitch into a wall. Um, especially cows because the babies when you when you do some uh, farming and call back the herd the uh, the babies uh, push the mothers or the, the cows into the wall trying to get to them so if you do this they don't suffocate inside the wall and another thing you could do is put pumpkins under here 
and this or am pumpkins out here in the middle. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> A cave. Who knew? There we go. Put pumpkins out here and provide for a little light inside the box. So you don't get spawns in here. Um, anyway, uh, that's about all. I'm Riptira. This is Thimble Studios. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.